So gas is exchanged. First let's say about the breathing. Breathing is the process which includes two processes. Okay, one is the inhale of air and another one is exhale of air. The difference between inhale and exhale, we are taking oxygen inside the body for respiration, right? At the same time, we are releasing outside um, carbon dioxide. This process is called as the breathing. Inhale and exhale, okay? Uh, we can say inhale means what? Breathe in. That is the inhale, breathe out, it's a uh, exhale. So breathing is a different from a respiration. That's a very important thing I told. Most of the students are always confusing breathing and a respiration is the same. But a respiration is the chemical process that takes place in the cell cytoplasm and uh, breaking down the glucose molecules to release energy. Breathing is the physical process happens through the nose inhale and exhale of gases that's all that's the main difference between the respiration and the breathing don't forget at any time and don't confuse yourself okay breathing is just the exchange of waste gases from the body with fresh air from the atmosphere so always we take a fresh air from the atmosphere and oxygen takes inside the body and release carbon dioxide outside the waste gas we can say the carbon dioxide is a waste gas the action of a breathing fresh air in is called inhaling and action of a breathing waste gases out is called exhaling. I told you just ago. So taking inside the oxygen we can call breathing in and given out the carbon dioxide is called as uh, breathe out or exhale process. It is exhaling. Okay. So there are two processes inhaling and exhaling. You can see this is the process, inhalation process and exhalation process. There are two pictures are given here for you. The first picture you can see inhalation, diaphragm contracts and a moves down. And now we are going to see about uh, what are the changes happening actually in the respiratory system while we do the inhalation and exhalation. In the previous class I told you the intercostal muscles and a ribcage are playing major role or big role in the process of breathing okay so that's what we are going to see now now you can see the first point so you can see this point okay you can see this point uh, rib cage expands as the rib muscles contract this is the main thing okay so inhale means you take the gas inside you can see the chest bone comes outside right so rib cage expands on the rib muscles contract the rib muscles contract the rib cage extends that is the main thing so same thing you can see here uh, in exhale process rib cage gets smaller as rib muscles relax just opposite okay <laughs> So rib cage expands rib muscles contract but in exhalation process you can see rib cage gets smaller as rib muscle relaxes okay that's the main thing the air is inhale here okay and uh, air is exhale outside so here what's happening this is the main process okay so diaphragm you can see this this sentence diaphragm moves contracts and moves down you can see this is the diagram it contracts and moves down while the inhaling process okay but while exhaling process you can say diaphragm relaxes you can see big size okay relaxes and moves upward this is downward this side is upward this is the main difference between the inhale process and the exhale process so you can see now let's see the definition okay during inhaling the brain sends electric impulse by nerves to the diaphragm and intercostal muscles so everything is coordination and a response in our body all the process that we have studied very clearly in the nervous system right so during inhaling the brain sends electric impulses by nerves to the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm contracts becoming flatter the intercostal muscles also contract and move the ribs in an outer upward direction so this is the main thing in inhale inhale what are the things are happening diaphragm sorry diaphragm you can see so diaphragm contracts okay intercostal muscles also contract 
and move the ribs and in an upward direction okay so this is what we can say the main uh, process happens in inhaling process diaphragm contracts intercostal muscle also contract and move the ribs outer and upward direction okay and these sections expand the thoracic cavity making the lungs expand so this process actually making the lung becomes expand outside so thus increasing the volume of the lungs and with the volume increasing intercostal internal pressure decreases which makes the air enters the lung through the mouth nose and trachea when we inhale what happens is that pressure is decreasing in the lung due to the increasing volume of the lung how the volume of the lungs increasing thoracic cavity volume is increasing how because of this actions we have studied just ago contraction of the diaphragm intercostal muscles and rib moves upwards and outwards okay so it become volume is increasing and the pressure is decreasing and more air can come inside from the nose to the lungs okay or thoracic cavity and during exhaling what's happening the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles relax again just the opposite for the inhaling process is the exhaling the diaphragm and their intercostal muscles relax okay there we can see the contract here diaphragm and the intercostal muscles relax again contracting the thoracic cavity so thoracic cavity contracting and excusing air out of the lungs to the trachea and the mouth nose to the atmosphere so this is the process okay so exhaling happens sending outside what's happening actually diaphragm contracts there in inhaling here diaphragm relax and uh, thoracic cavity thus excusing and the pressure is increasing due to the presence of more gas and volume decreases so the more gas is squeezing out of the body or out of the lungs to the nose and sending outside the carbon dioxide okay okay very good and let's see respiratory system in action you can see here so this is a cilia ciliated ciliated muscles we know very well right uh, you can see here the cilia is present this is a trachea structure of a trachea you can see the simple column not ciliated epithelium okay so connective tissue is there and the basement membrane is there the, the hair like appearance is there no top that is called as so that is called as the cilia cilia is moving or pushing the what we can say the mucus to the throat region or the nose okay so inhaling occurs air is absorbed by lungs it enters the nose where bacteria and dust in the trapped by mucus and warmed by blood capillaries there are two process happening generally in the cilia it traps bacteria and other dust particles when it enters from the atmosphere to through the nose to the lungs and second it is due to the presence of a more blood capillaries it becomes warm the air also becomes a warm before reaching the lungs okay okay the air enters the trachea where it's cleaned again by cilia so when the air enters the lungs again and again the cilia is cleaning cleaning the air while it is crossing the air crossing this cilia okay when it reaches the lungs the air becomes a very clean and then we can take that oxygen for the respiration process you can see here the bronchiole with alveoli this is one biggest picture okay so bronchiole and alveoli you can see very clearly here this is the bronchiole okay so this is what we can say so this is the bronchiole no two parts are dividing this go to the right side this is okay so this is from the trachea bronchi and bronchi again divided into two parts no many parts inside the lungs and deeply present inside okay the small round parts are there here no these all small round parts we can call it as alveoli i told you it is a sac like structure and through which a gaseous exchange takes place and this is the important for the filling or uh, uh, what we can say contains some more gas or uh, oxygen okay you can see clearly and next let's see the bronchi take air from the trachea to each lung so how the air comes to the lungs let's see 
First, it reaches the nasal passage through that it crosses the trachea, pharynx, larynx, and the trachea. And from trachea, trachea is divided into two layer, two branch. One is called as when it goes to the right lung, one goes to the left lung, and uh, that is given here. So that is called as the bronchi. Okay, so the bronchi. So you can see here. You can see here the bronchi. The bronchi take the air from the trachea to the each lung. Okay, so bronchi divided into several bronchioles. That's what I told. Bronchi divided into several uh, several bronchioles. Each one has a group of alveoli at the end of it. Okay, so next we will see. And the alveoli gas exchange takes place in the alveoli gas exchange takes place don't forget okay so in the alveoli gas exchange takes place uh, where the oxygen is rich air diffuses into the blood capillaries of the pulmonary arteries and the carbon dioxide rich gas diffuses out of the bloodstream to the alveoli to be exhaled outside okay so what's happening alveoli gases exchange takes place gases exchange means what oxygen diffuses inside from the alveoli to bloodstream means pulmonary artery and uh, what we can say next carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood capillary to the outside right or to the exhale or the, to the nose that is we can call it as the gaseous exchange process this is a gaseous exchange process okay the pulmonary veins carry the oxygen fresh air to the heart where it is pumped to all the body parts okay so in circulatory system we might have been studied the double circulation right so how does it was the main function of the pulmonary vein and a pulmonary artery here you can see the pulmonary vein carries the oxygenated fresh air to the heart where it is pumped to all the body cells okay and the intercostal muscles in a diaphragm relax excusing the waste gases out of the lungs this is exhalation so exhalation process in the previous slides we have seen the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm relaxes during exhaling and it contracts during inhaling don't forget okay